Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, new on the market in the year 2023 is the HGLRC Sector 5 with the DJI 03 system in it. Now, many of you probably already own the Sector 5 because it came out a while ago and I did a review on it. And here's a picture of my review and you might want to check that review out because I go through everything. And in that review, I concluded that this is a phenomenal FPV quad and I flew this new version and well, it's equally phenomenal because it's pretty much the same quad. So those new to the Sector 5, let me tell you that it comes in two versions. I have the Dead Cat version and it also comes in an X-Frame. The difference between a Dead Cat and an X-Frame is that if you're into freestyle, get the X-Frame because it's so well balanced and you can see your arms are a big X. But if you're into cinematography, then get the Dead Cat because your arms go more this way and your camera up front will not pick up the props in the frame. Looking at the specs, it still has the same flight controller in it, the F7 Flight Controller Mini. It also has the 45 amp ESC, 4-in-1 ESC that goes from 45 amps up to 55 amps on peak performance. Same brushless motors are on here, so if you get the 4S version, it does come in 4S and 6S. I have the 6S version because I love the power! But if you get the 4S version, then you have the same brushless motors at the same KV that were in the previous version, which is 2550. And if you get the 6S version, then they're 1900 KV. So pretty much all they've done is upgraded the camera. So you can still get this in analog version. You can still get it in HD version, which has the old sort of DJI system, but it's not really DJI, it's DJI compatible. So if you have the old goggles, version one, version two, probably works with that. I think they use a Polar Vista camera in that. You'll see it on the website. And now you can get it with the DJI 03 system, which is top of the line. But of course, if you go to the DJI 03 system, that's pretty advanced and the price goes way up. Let me tell you, if you get the analog system, which I think is a good deal it's about $300 US if you jump up to the digital HD system then you're at about 450 US I believe and if you jump up to the DJI 03 system you're at about 530 US now when it comes to receivers you can still order this with any receiver that's compatible with the radio you own so if you have an ELRS radio ELRS if you have a crossfire radio crossfire and if you have a radio that has none of those then get the plug and play put your own receiver or if you modify it and put the UART on the right UART, then you can use it with the DJI remote, which is back here. I always have it hidden back here. I gotta bring it out more often. You can use it with this. And on that note, mine is the PMP version, except I'm using it with an FR Sky XM Plus receiver in the back. So I'm using a RadioMaster TX16S. And you can see I've taped up the antennas from the receiver with some nice little yellow electrical tape so they don't get in the way of the props. And the model still comes with GPS rescue in the back. So if you go too far out of range or behind some building and you've lost all communication GPS rescue will kick in or you can flick a switch on your radio and turn it on manually now since mine is the DJI 03 system I'll show you the camera over there that means I had to fly it with the DJI digital goggles so you could use the goggles version 2 or you can use the goggles 2 or any of the new DJI goggles that are coming out on the market now now in this review I flew mine with a GoPro up front which adds a bit of weight so because I have the weight up there I use just a six cell 1050 milliamp hour lipo battery and i got about uh, five or six minutes flight time if you take off the gopro up front and you put a bigger battery you can boost that flight time away up so the next thing to show you is me taking this for a flight so check this out here i am at my local field and i've already taken this for a flight and i'm about to take it for a second flight so i can actually give you my thoughts right now while well, it flies just like the previous version i don't see any difference it's just as good i did fly it on a 1000 battery at 1000 milliamp hour 6s battery and uh, I got about five and a half minutes of flight time with the GoPro, little GoPro mini on top. So I'm going to take it for another flight. So before I take this flight, how about I show you footage from the first flight and put some voiceover and tell you all about it. Watch this. Now, the very first thing to take note is I do have the Sector 5 Dead Cat version. So you will see no props in the frame. The next thing to note would be how good the DJI 03 camera is in comparison to a very expensive GoPro Hero 11 camera. So on the left we have the 03 system by DJI and on the right we have the GoPro and look at the images, they look awesome. And as already mentioned, had I not put the GoPro on top and just flew with the DJI 03 camera, I could have put a much larger battery and received a much longer flight time. 
Performance-wise, this quad has performance to spare. The Sector 5 was always a really good brand of quads by HGLRC, but the Sector 5s that they've been putting out are just so awesome. They have so much power, they can go really fast, and they can also go really slow, and they corner on a dime. Even here, you can see I just blipped the power to miss a tree. It has power to spare. So just by slightly touching the throttle, you're gonna skyrocket up in the sky. What that means is that this quad was designed for people who love freestyle and who also love racing. This is one of the more popular quads and I believe you understand why now that you've seen part of this video. So the batteries I've been using are the 6-cell 1050s. The reason I use the 1050s is because I have a GoPro camera up front, so I'm just trying to keep the weight down. The angle on my camera is about like that, because some people always ask me what's my camera angle, and then I just try to match it with the GoPro. I do like the fact that I can connect the battery with just one hand by pushing this into the rear. There we are. All set. It's ready to go. There we are. We're in acro mode. Uh, Joe was just telling me that he's got a plane. If he puts it up in the air, I might see it. All right, so let's take off and let's go. So what can I tell you? It's got lots of power. I'm trying to keep the throttle low so I can show you how much power it has here. So I'm going along smooth like this. You can see if I flip it, I can go way up and look around the world and keep on following and doing circles. It's, it's a really good drone for doing freestyle acrobatics, whatever you want to do. It's really good. All right, let's bring it back to us. I'll show you where I am down here. I'm going to slow it down. Bring it down low and I'll pass myself and Joe. You can see me here at the back of the Jeep and there's Joe at the back of his car. So what do we want to do? I'm trying to stay away from the school. There's a school back over there and I want to stay away from it because the kids come out, they're in school. So I want to stay away from that. Also over here, we have a park and I want to stay away from that because there'll be kids in that park. So I'm pretty much stuck with this area here. So I got to keep the drone down around here. So I just got to miss all these obstacles, which is a lot of fun. This is the type of drone uh, that people buy because they want the power, which it has. If you want to go fast here, I'll show you. There we go. I'm going to pick up speed. So I'm gunning it and I'll turn before the school. And if you want to go really slow, I'll slow way down here. Oh, I think I just heard Joe putting a plane up. Okay, I see it. That's a tiny one. There it is. It uh, is so tiny that the odds of me hitting it are pretty good because I see it at the last second. So there it is right again. I'll try it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have to get you another one if I do. Oh, well, then uh, I'm not going to hit it then for sure. I'm trying to, it's like, it's like trying to, trying to swat a fly out of the sky is what it's like trying to follow it here. This is really difficult. Up and down. Oh, crap. Did I hit it? And look at that, I hit his friggin' plate. Sorry about that, Joe. I'll come and check. The, I gotta check the carnage. Oh, this is not good. Okay, we're gonna go check out the carnage. Hang on, I'm putting this down over here. There's Joe coming to get it. Okay, we're out at the site of the carnage, and I did, in fact, hit Joe's plane. Check it out. Here, Joe, show the plane. It used to have a wing. It wasn't all chewed up like that. That's what a drone does touching a piece of foam. It just destroys it. Obliterated a small one. Yeah, and he's missing, still missing a piece that uh, we're looking for. All right, so uh, chasing planes is a bit of uh, dangerous. All right, so that ends that fun flight. Uh, destroyed enough stuff today, so I will go back in. Here's back to Indoor Steve. All right, you're back to me, so let me show you what you get in the box if you buy this unit. Here we go. This is the box your Sector 5 comes in, and these are the specifications of the Sector 5 I used in this video. Opening the box, we'll find our FPV drone and accessories. The first thing you'll notice with the Sector 5 drone is how thick the carbon fiber is and how easy easy it is to replace all the carbon fiber components. The DJI O3 camera is protected by aluminum on either side and it is secured in place so you get no vibrations. A DJI long range transmission antenna is also included. The brushless motors are certainly extremely powerful for the size of this quad. GPS rescue is already pre-installed. If you wish to add your own receiver, a cable is provided. An XT60 adapter is already installed in the drone, as well as dust protectors are included to protect the flight controller and to protect the DJI O3 system. The drone comes with a camera mount already installed, and this is the locking bolt for the camera mount. Accessories include a spare battery strap and two spare dust protectors. Two sets of props are included. Prop nuts and extra screws are also included. Additional wires are also included. And finally, you'll receive a flight controller 
schematics card, as well as a propeller direction card, as well as stickers, the total weight of the drone without a battery is 434 grams. So final thoughts, final thoughts are, it's a very, very powerful drone. If you wanna go super fast, this is the baby to have, it goes fast. If you wanna go slow, it goes slow. If you wanna do freestyle, it does freestyle. It's an all around awesome drone. I, I really do like this one. The Sector 5 is one of my favorite drones. I like the previous model, which I had with the digital system, and I like this one with the DJI 03 system. I don't really find any difference flying either one. But uh, yeah, it's really good. And you can see when it chops up foam planes, no damage occurs to the drone itself. And with all that said, I'm going to put links to this product below. Go check it out. See if it's for you. If you find it much too expensive, then get the analog version. This is what a lot of people are doing today. A lot of people are buying the analog version of these drones because they're pretty much the same as the digital version. And then when the prices of digital units come down, or maybe they want to go to Walksnail or HD Zero, when those prices all drop, then they buy those units and they stick them in and pull out the analog and there's a huge savings there. So that's an option for many people watching this. But for now I say thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future video with many more product reviews. Until then I say bye.